I'm Tiona Summers, Museum Programs Officer here at the Natural History Museum of Jamaica. And today we'll be doing a DIY volcano. So today we'll be using a water bottle, a sheet of cardboard, some glue, a paintbrush from mixed in and a container, water, tape, scissors, newspaper, and a glue gun. First step is to fix the water bottle on the sheet of cardboard and to create your vent. For me, I want a wider vent, so I'm going to remove the top of the water bottle. If not, you can just remove the part and leave as is. So you pierce a hole at the top and I'm using a stencil knife to slightly go around and to remove the top of the bottle. use the glue gun to fix the bottle on the cardboard at the center. If you don't have a glue gun, a tape is always good to use. Next, we're going to use some tape to continue to add to the reinforcement of the water bottle because I want it to remain firm at the center of the cardboard. So this is how it will look when you put the tapes around the bottle to help keep it in place. Take a sheet of newspaper and we're going to brush it in the form of a ball. So we're going to do as much of those as we as we need depending on the size of your bottle. So now we're going to start adding these small crushed newspapers at the base of the volcano. So the first layer that you'll be creating is the base. And remember, if you don't have a glue gun, a tape will do. And you continue doing this until you paste all of your crushed newspaper at the base of their volcano. So now we have the first base, we have the first layer of our volcano. Now we're going to create four more small circles with the newspaper to kind of widen the base. So I'm going to place one here. One here. one here and then the last one uh, will place here. So we're going to fill in the spaces between the four that we just reset with you. Alright, so you're going to need one, two, three, four more small balls of newspaper. Now we have our way to create our second layer, right? And this this goes right on top of our first base, which was our first layer. So 
Crush the newspaper again. Apply your tape or your glue from your glue gun if you have one. You just continue to build. And you do this and go all the way around. Okay, our second layer. If you notice that you have some spaces in between and you want to fill it, you can go ahead and do that also. So I have a space right here at the back, so I'm going to fill that. We're going closer to the vent, right? So we're going to create some small um, crushed newspapers. So I'm going to tear this newspaper in half so I can create my small crushed newspaper balls. Use strips of newspaper to finish build the body of the volcano. So I cut up some my newspapers in, in strips and then I'm going to put it in the, the opening, the fence, and they're gonna bring come down to here and and place it. So in order to do that, we're going to create our glue base, which we're going to mix glue with some water. We're going to place our strips of newspaper into our glue mixture. Ensure that all of it is covered by the glue. And then we're going to start layering the strips of newspaper. So pretty much we'll be finishing it off by doing a paper mache. So you put it in the vent and carry it down. And stretch it. And we'll repeat this until it is completely covered. leave it to dry for a few days so we'll rejoin them to paint it. As you can see the volcano is finally dry and I am painting it and the color that I will be using is the color brown. So this is the completion of the second coat and this is what it looks like. So we're almost there. I'm going to add a third coat to fully cover the newspaper. I have completed the third coating of the volcano. I'm allowing it to dry for a little while. In the meantime, I'm going to mix some other paints. I'm going to mix white and black to get a gray tone, which I'm going to then use to add to the rigid areas of the volcano just to add a little enhance.
So this is the final product, right? So I am finished painting. I have used the gray paint to add to the terrain to bring some effect. And I put a little white in between. And this is the final product of our volcano. Stay tuned for the explosion.